There is the LoRa module. This is the antenna. The Arduino Uno. And here's the USB cable. I'm using a breadboard and a medium breadboard. This setup is used for testing purpose, so you can clearly see how these devices are wired up. The reason why I've used this module plate is I want to reuse this transceiver module in later videos. If you want to see the wiring schema between the Arduino Uno and the LoRa module, go to my website www.mobilefish.com, select the developer, select LoRa 1, and select this second link, Build LoRa Node Using Arduino Uno. Scroll down and you can find the wiring schema over here. Click on the image for a larger image. Here you can see how the Arduino Uno and the LoRa module are wired up. The next step is go to the Things Network website. Go to www.thethingsnetwork.org. Log in. I'm already logged in. Click on this link and select console. You need to register your gateway, add an application and register a device. I've already registered my gateway. It is my single channel LoRa gateway. In the description below, you can find a link to my YouTube tutorial, how to create a single channel LoRa gateway and how to register this gateway in the Things Network. The next step is to select applications. I've already registered an application called DIY Node. This application has a device registered, as you can see over here. The device is called an Arduino device. If you click on this link, you will see the device overview. Make sure that the activation method ABP is selected. ABP stands for Activation by Personalization. If you want to change the activation method, select settings and you can change the activation method over here. Go back to overview. You will later need the device address, network session key and app session key in your Arduino sketch. These are hexadecimal values. If you press this button, the hexadecimal value is represented in a different format, as you can see over here. In the Arduino sketch, we need this format, but for the network session key and the app session key, we need this format, this format, and this format. If you want to copy these values, you press this button. Now this value is copied, and if you press this button, this value is copied. You can already press this link to reset the frame counter. Press OK. The next step is go to Applications, select DIY node, and select Payload Formats. As you can see, I've already entered a decoder payload format function. This function can also be found on my website. Go back to my website, scroll down. Here you can see the decoder payload function, and here's the link. And you can copy this decoder payload function, copy and paste it in here. When you're done, please don't forget to press this button. I'm now going to start off my single channel LoRa gateway. I'm connecting to my Raspberry Pi.
open a terminal cd LoRa1 gateway cd single channel for packet forwarding to start up my single channel LoRa gateway enter dot slash single channel packet forwarding as you can see my single channel LoRa gateway is now running open the browser and go to this github web page this is Matthias Koyman's github page where you can download the Arduino LoRa Mac in C library to download this library press this button and press this link download zip when the zip file is downloaded start your Arduino IDE I'm using Arduino version 1.8.2 the next step is to import the Arduino LoRa Mac in C library in the Arduino IDE. To do this, select Sketch, Include Library, select Add.zip Library. Go to the location where the zip file is located, select the zip file and select Choose. After the library is imported, don't forget to stop and start your Arduino IDE. If you have done this, check if the library is imported. Go to Sketch, Include Library, and here you see IBM Elmic Framework. Please note I'm working on the Mac operating system. Open Finder, and go to your home directory, Documents, Arduino, Libraries, and Arduino Elmic Master. In the folder source, open Elmic folder and open the config.h file. I've opened the config file in a text editor. This library only supports 868 MHz and 915 MHz frequency. I live in the Netherlands, so I've selected this option, because I'm using an Hope RF, RFM95 module, I'm selecting this option. I've set the Elmic debug level to 2, because I want a more verbose output. I've also enabled this line for easy debugging. I've also enabled this line, because I also want to see any assertion failures. I have uncommented this line and this line because I don't use any code related to ping or beacon tracking. These are the only changes I've made to this library. Now we need a sketch to be uploaded to the Arduino Uno. Start your Arduino IDE and select File, Examples, select IBM Elmic Framework and select TTN ABP sketch. Save this sketch in the new folder. Select File, Save As, and enter TTN ABP DIY Arduino and press the Save button. We need some modification to the sketch before we upload it to the Arduino Uno. You need to replace the network session key, the app session key, and the device address with the correct values. Go to the Things Network, go to Applications, go to your device. So, first, you need to change the device address. Press this button to copy it and paste it over here. I've already done this. Please don't forget to prefix it with 0x. The next step is the network session key. Press this button. You see MSV. Then copy it. It's now copied. And then paste your network session key over here. I've already done this. 
And the last step is the App Session key. Press this button. You see MSB. Press this button to copy it. It's now copied. Replace this value with the one you've copied. I've already done this. This string, hello world, will be broadcasted from my LoRa module to the single channel LoRa gateway. Connect the Arduino Uno to your computer. Check if the correct board and port is selected. Select Tools, Board, and select Arduino Uno. And select Tools, Port, and select this port. Press the Verify button. There are no errors or warnings. And press the Upload button. The sketch is now uploaded. Select Tools and select Serial Monitor. As you can see, the LoRa module is broadcasting messages. This is the Arduino IDE Serial Monitor output. This is the single channel LoRa gateway output. As you can see, it receives messages from the LoRa module. In the Things Network console, if you select your application, you select your device, and you select data, this link, you will see your messages. This is the hexadecimal representation of Hello World. The decoder payload function has converted this hexadecimal value into a readable text. By the way, the received message is encrypted. And here is another message received. To make the LoRa node more mobile, you can connect the LoRa module directly to the Arduino Uno using the jumper wires. You can power the Arduino Uno using this 9 volt battery holder and this 9 volt battery. Make sure the LoRa module doesn't touch the Arduino Uno. In a later video, I will replace this wire antenna with this coil antenna and see if there is an improvement in the signal strength. In a later video, I'm going to replace this Arduino Uno with this Arduino Pro Mini board. As you can see, it's much smaller. In a later video, I'm also going to attach sensors to the Arduino Uno. I'm also going to change the code with regard to the spreading factor to see what the impact it has with regard to the signal strength and its distance. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.